Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our educational webinar on hyperhidrosis and iontophoresis. We have a lot to cover today, so if you don't mind, I'm actually going to jump right into our agenda for today. First, we're going to start out by talking about what is hyperhidrosis. If you haven't heard of it already, it's actually a fairly common medical condition um, that is currently spreading awareness as people get more familiar with the signs to look out for. We're also going to talk about iontophoresis. It's a really long word, but I promise you it's not as intimidating as it sounds. We'll talk about what that treatment details, what they entail. Alternative options, too. There are a lot of different solutions out there for treating hyperhidrosis, and we're going to cover the pros and cons of each one. Next, we're going to jump into how do you actually prescribe iontophoresis for one of your patients. We'll cover some important stats that are good to communicate with patients who are struggling with hyperhidrosis. And then finally, we'll wrap up by talking a little bit about who we are as a company at R.A. Fisher, our missions and values, and we'll leave you with some information on how you can get in touch with us and finally wrap up with why iontophoresis. So let's take a look at the definition for hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating, as I said, is a fairly common disorder. It's estimated that between two and 3% of Americans suffer from excessive sweating of either the underarms or both the palms and the soles of the feet. Those are the three most common areas that we find that patients struggle with extreme or heavy sweating. Although hyperhidrosis comes in many shapes and forms and can even affect uh, singular areas throughout the body. And so, which is why it's led to a variety of different solutions and, and treatment alternatives out there. We'll go through them later in the presentation and talk to you about which one is right for prescribing your patient. And hyperhidrosis, although it is a physical condition, it actually can lead to a lot of mental health issues. A lot of patients that we work with that we've heard stories all the time from struggling on first dates, job interviews. I can't tell you all of the excuses that we've heard from patients who've said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm a real estate agent and I actually have to bandage my hand before every open house to have some sort of excuse as to, as to why I can't shake people's hands. So these things can really take a toll on individuals, not just from a physical state too, but also in terms of their self-esteem, developing anxiety and depression. What's worse too is when hyperhidrosis often goes misdiagnosed at first, and a physician will confuse hyperhidrosis and the symptoms with someone struggling with anxiety. And so that individual might be prescribed anxiety medication, and when it doesn't work, they, and they're still sweating, they actually start to develop anxiety because they say, hey, you know, I have this solution. It's still not working for me. What's wrong with me? And it's nothing to do with the individual. It simply is a misdiagnosis from the start. So one of the things we do here at RA Fisher is we, we really try to work with the medical, medical community for them to understand what hyperhidrosis is, the signs, and ultimately their treatment options. So let's talk about our solution. Iontophoresis, it's a very long established therapeutic treatment. It's been around actually since the 50s. Uh, it's used to treat a variety of conditions, but we're gonna focus on hyperhidrosis, hyperhidrosis today. Iontophoresis is essentially a type of electrical stimulation that's used to administer the natural elements that are found in tap water into your body through the skin. And unlike a lot of the other treatments that we're gonna cover today, iontophoresis doesn't present any significant or serious side effects. Uh, in fact, the process is 100% all natural, organic, and the benefits are long-term. And this is something that we talk to uh, patients a lot about because with a lot of the other alternatives, there's a lot of serious side effects uh, and a lot of uh, negatives that, that come with them. And so we like to talk to them about taking a really healthy, organic approach uh, to their treatment. And that's why we really like working with doctors to prescribe iontophoresis. But let's not get too technical with it, right? Especially when we're communicating with patients, when we introduce the idea of water and electrical currents, right? It can kind of rouse some suspicions. So let's put it a little simpler. Imagine if your skin was a sponge. Iontophoresis uses a mild electrical current to essentially push the natural minerals found in tap water into your sweat pores, plugging them up, so to speak, in the holes to create a barrier of dryness. So this is a really good anecdote that you can share with patients that helps them visualize exactly what that process is doing for them and uh, ultimately help them explain why it's safe to introduce a mild electrical current into water and why the process is 100% all natural. Again, no chemicals in your body, no Botox injections or anything like that. It's simply utilizing the natural minerals found in tap water to plug the sweat pores and the holes to create that barrier of dryness, as I said. 
But don't take it from me. We actually worked with, uh, we, or we currently work with and continue to work with uh, one of the U.S.'s renowned dermatologists, Dr. Zakita Rice, who is an adjunct professor um, uh, down in Emory University. And she describes iontophoresis as a reliably effective, safe, and affordable solution. She's re referred a lot of patients to us. We love working with Dr. Rice. And so if your patients are looking for a solution to their hyperhidrosis that you consider affordable, effective, and at the end of the day, really safe, right? We want you to know that your patients are in good hands. This is why you want to prescribe them iontophoresis as a solution. Here's taking a look at actually what an iontophoresis device looks like, because maybe you've never seen one before, or you've seen different pictures, and they come in different styles. At RA Fisher, we offer two different models. We have our original MD1, which is our analog meter. Um, it's preferred for feet. MD2 is our newer digital version. Uh, it's preferred for, preferred for both uh, hands and or feet if your patient is looking to treat both of them. Although both machines have the same effectiveness, the differences in terms of user-friendly, which is why the MD2 uh, is usually prescribed by pediatricians uh, for, for younger patients, uh, for college students, uh, or for people for simply the use of ease. It is our digital model meaning that it comes with an LCD screen um, and, and a button interface for people to be able to program their treatments. And it comes with some smarter features like built-in timers, preset modes, uh, one-touch memory. So it's very easy for you to recall the settings from your last treatment. Our analog model doesn't offer any of those, uh, those kind of creature comforts. It does have a meter, it's got a dial. So you'll still be able to treat uh, as effectively as with the MD2. But if you are looking to refer a younger patient, uh, most of the time we work with uh, pediatricians, dermatologists, and doctors to get that patient an MD2, which again is our newer digital model. Both of these are FDA approved. Uh, our MD1 has been around for over 30 years and people have time and time again seen great results from this. And we'll cover some of those important stats towards the end of our webinar. Let's talk about treatment next whether you're prescribing this for a patient for them to use iontophoresis at home, or you're looking to purchase an iontophoresis device for your clinic. We work with a lot of dermatologists to get them an in-clinic device because we find it's a great way for patients to get acclimated using the device. It's a great introduction for them. And when you're prescribing it to them, you can actually have something to demonstrate and to show them. So if you're interested in getting one of your of our devices for your clinic, we would be happy to discuss our special doctor's discount pricing that we'd be able to work with you on, okay? But in terms of that treatment, what does it really look like? Um, and the recommended treatment duration that we talk to patients about is between 15 and 20 minutes per area. So whether you're treating your hands, that would be 15 to 20 minutes with your hands. If you're also looking to treat your feet, that would be an additional 15 to 20 minutes for your feet. How often do patients start to use the device at first? We recommend two to three times a week to start, uh, basically every other day. It's very common uh, for us to work with patients who want to over-treat, whether it's online forums where they read about someone treating every day and seeing great results, um, or them just being in a hurry to see results. Sometimes they're, they wanna use it every day, even multiple times a day. They'll stretch it out for 30 to 40 minutes. Um, we do advise against this. Really, you wanna be patient for that first two weeks, which is around how long it starts to take to see results. Um, and everyone's body is different. So we uh, urge doctors, physicians, dermatologists, pediatricians to work with your patients and communicate with them about developing a treatment schedule that really works for them. Most of the time though, people start out with around five milliamps as the intensity and they work their way up to 12 to 15. But we really wanna stress that we want patients treating at a level that's comfortable and toler tolerable for them. So this is another benefit of having that device in your clinic for you to be able to walk them through the treatment the first time and for you to dial up the intensity as they're experiencing it. And then once the patient finds that level that's comfortable for them, you stick to that level for the first several treatments and then eventually work your way up and hopefully uh, patients are treating around that 12 to 15 milliamp range uh, more frequently. And again, the idea is that after two weeks, they should start to see results. And the best part is this isn't something that they're gonna have to do two to three times a week forever. As patients start to see results and that desired level of dryness, they can actually reduce the frequency and establish a regular maintenance schedule varies according to patient, 
Most patients we work with end up treating once a month for that 15 to 20 minutes per area uh, duration. However, we've worked with patients that tell us, hey, I only treat myself every six weeks uh, and I still see great results out of it. So it's about finding what works for you. I have a little video here. I actually wanna show you what the setup and treatment of one of our iontophoresis device looks like. And there you have it, it's that simple. So this is something that patients can set up and start using in less than five minutes. And again, from there, the patient would be ha would have their hands in that tray for between 15 and 20 minutes if they were treating their hands. Then same exact setup, they would to treat their feet as well. So you saw how simple iontophoresis was to set up at home. We've talked a little bit about it being the 100% all natural solution to hyperhidrosis. But now let's talk about some of the alternative options because there have been some newer solutions that have recently hit the market. So the first thing that we uh, encounter patients that they speak to us about is DIYing their own iontophoresis device at home uh, or coming up with some of their sort of home remedies for their hyperhidrosis. And the reason we advise against that is because not only is DIY iontophoresis ineffective, uh, but it can also be dangerous. Basically DIY entails people connecting car batteries, lantern batteries uh, to pie tins uh, via sometimes using cords that they've used from laptop packs and things like that. They have no way of telling how many milliamps that they are using. People have to, have to frequently treat multiple times a day for up to 45 minutes to an hour to see results. And also when it comes to the materials in pie tins and other aluminum products, in terms of the coating or other chemicals that are used in the manufacturing processes, you really don't know what you're getting when, when a patient tries to DIY their own device at home. So you really wanna to talk to them about the dangers of that. And at the end of the day, you want something that has proven results and that comfort of being FDA approved like RA Fisher's iontophoresis devices are. The next thing that a lot of people talk about is topicals and creams is another popular one-off type of solution. Uh, but the downside of that is that it's temporary. It's something that you have to reapply multiple times a day. Uh, and there's also a lot of chemicals that are involved. And so you wanna read the warning labels on any website that you're looking at, or also the tube of that topical or cream. Take a look at the warnings and side effects. And if it reads like a laundry list, uh, that should send some red flags up for you. Another new option uh, is currently wipes uh, that kind of go in line with antiperspirants that can either be over the counter or prescription. Uh, Cubrexa is, is a major uh, wipe competitor, but the downside of these is that there's really serious side effects, um, including what's called blown pupil. So uh, Cubrexa advises against getting any of the material on your hands, or at least as you're using those wipes for underarm sweating, um, wash your hands thoroughly afterwards. Because what happens is if you get any of that solution in your fingernail, tip something, and you go and touch your eyes, it can actually dilate your pupil and it's called a, a blown pupil. Um, and it stays like that uh, and, until you can go and see a doctor. And so it's really weird. Uh, it's, it's something that people don't like to have to think about. 
And also supply is a real issue. We've worked with a lot of patients who said, hey, I had been using this uh, you know, product you know, and seeing some results, but I just went to my pharmacy and they don't have any more. And they said, they're not gonna have any more for months. You know, what do I do? The great news about iontophoresis is it's a one-time investment that will last you decades. I'm not exaggerating when I say we have patients that have had their devices for 20 and 30 years even, uh, and they're still going strong. They're still working today. And we love hearing those success stories. So get away from the pharmacy and the dropping off your prescription and waiting in line and running out of supplies and having to wash your hands all the times, okay, with antiperspirants and wipes. The next option to, uh, uh, for, for patients dealing with hyperhidrosis is prescription medications. They're easy, you pop it in the morning or with your meal, right? And you kind of go about your day. But the downside is that there are, again, some really serious side effects that come with prescription medications. Yes, patients might not sweat as much, but it dry, those medications dry them out all over the body. So they have trouble uh, creating tears for their eyes. They have to use eye drops all the time. They have really serious dry mouth. Um, some patients have even uh, talked about trouble urinating. They, they can no longer go to the bathroom like they used to simply because this medication has dried them out completely. And also in terms of the lifetime cost of ownership, copays add up. And although going to the pharmacy and paying $15 to $30 here and there might not seem like you know, such a big investment, but when you're depending on these medications for not just this month, not just this year, but the next five years, the next 10 years. This is hyperhidrosis is a condition that's not going away and, it, and is not curable. Uh, it's simply manageable. And so those costs over time really quickly add up. So again, that's why we talk to patients about understanding that lifetime cost of ownership and why iontophoresis is a one-time upfront investment. And we can also work with your insurance provider to try to get the cover cost, uh, the, the cost covered. And if your insurance denies that claim, we even offer financing uh, options three, six, and 12 months. And we'll get all into that a little bit later. Next, and one of the more popular alternative options for hyperhidrosis is Botox. Botox is something that a lot of people have already heard about, right? From uh, you know Beverly Hills and other shows and things that they've walked, uh, watched generally in how it relates to uh, beautification, right? But Botox can also be used to treat hyperhidrosis. But the downside is that it is extremely painful. Imagine sitting in a doctor's office and you look down at your hands and there are about 50 little marker dots across your hand in a little grid pattern. Now imagine you sitting there for the next hour and the doctor going one by one to each of those dots and then making a painful injection into each one of those dots. As a nurse sitting, you know, as sitting with them, uh, glides ice over each of those injection sites and helps mop up the blood and the mess. And it's a very kind of gruesome uh, and and not too tasteful process, right? So um, for some people, they they like going the Botox route because it's something they have to do only every three to six months, and so for their schedules that works but it's extremely painful. It's not a great option for, for younger patients because it can often lead, times lead to muscle weakness. Um, and those costs add up. Botox costs thousands of dollars. And even if, when it's covered by your insurance, those are co-pays and things that you have to pay. And if it's something that you have to get done every three to six months and relive this trauma every three to six months, you know, what is your time worth? What is that experience really worth to you? Okay. So that's generally why we try to advise people away from Botox and going with iontophoresis, which can get you down to a once a month treatment schedule, but it's not painful. It's not as expensive. And it's, uh, it, it has a 91% success rate for treating hyperhidrosis. Then really the last main alternative option for, is, uh, for hyperhidrosis is ETS surgery. Uh, but with ETS surgery, which is generally what doctors only recommend or prescribe after a patient has undergone every other alternative option and not seen success, um, ETS surgery has the risk of compensatory sweating. 
Compensatory sweating means sweating in other places. So uh, imagine that you've gone your whole life struggling with this condition. You finally go in for ETS surgery. Uh, they, they, they sever those nerves and suddenly, you know, your hands are no longer sweating, but your back sweats uncontrollably. Now it's your feet, now it's your underarms. And for underarm ETS surgery, we've actually heard of patients who've had to have their lungs collapsed simply to have that procedure done. So by no way, shape or form, do we believe that anyone treating excessive sweating from hyperhidrosis should collapse a lung in order to find a solution that works for them, right? That is an insane ask. And so that's why we really feel strongly that iontophoresis is the best solution. But not only that, let's talk about some of the other devices that are out there, right? Because you have a variety of devices that you can prescribe for your patient, but a lot of them are battery operated, which requires a patient to either go to the store and buy batteries off the shelf, or sometimes those batteries um, are actually uh, specific to that device, they're proprietary. And so you have to continually order batteries from that manufacturer and it becomes a recurring cost that adds up. A lot of other iontophoresis devices also aren't FDA approved and they haven't gone through that rigorous process of making sure that their quality uh, is, is up to standards as well as their processes, HIPAA compliance initiatives and things like that. At RA Fisher, we're 100% FDA approved and we have been for over three decades. Those other devices are often made overseas and so you don't really know what you're getting and where you're getting them from. At RA Fisher, all of our devices are made in-house in our uh, facility right here in Simi Valley, California. So everything's 100% made in the USA. And also with other iontophoresis companies, we've gotten a lot of complaints from patients about poor support whether they're calling and having to go through a series of you know, annoying prompts just to get someone who really isn't that knowledgeable about the product because they're an outsourced call center and they handle thousands of product support calls for this really big uh, healthcare company. Uh, at RA Fisher, every single patient is assigned to a personal treatment specialist. And that treatment specialist serves as their point of contact from everything from benefits and eligibility to communicating with the doctor's office, communicating with the insurance provider after the sale, communicating about te uh, uh, technical support, warranty information. And so at the end of the day, when your patient calls RA Fisher, they know the name of their treatment specialist, they're familiar with them. We don't have to rehash their case history with them or anything like that. And it really provides the best patient support in the industry. So now we've talked about all of the different things that you could theoretically prescribe to patients. Let's talk about how you're going to prescribe iontophoresis. Again, as an FDA approved device, we do require a prescription for all US based patients. If you are currently a doctor or a practicing physician outside of the US, uh, or you have uh, patients who are outside of the US, in that case, we do not require a prescription and we are able to ship overseas. But for anyone here in the States for prescribing in the RX field, you're going to want to write Fisher iontophoresis device for treating hyperhidrosis. It's very simple. You don't have to prescribe specifically a model like an MD1 versus an MD2. That's something that our treatment specialist can talk your patient through to find the solution that's best for them based on the area that they're trying to treat, but also their budget as well. We'd like to try to keep that in mind. And optionally, you can recommend a treatment schedule. Our treatment specialist is happy to talk your patients through that as well. As I said, it's 15 to 20 minute sessions, about two to three times a week to start. You can also leave your patient with a brochure, which instructs them on how to use their new prescription and complete their order from RA Fisher. Uh, you can also fax prescriptions directly to us or your patient can do that as well. At the end of this presentation, I'm gonna show on our screen all of our contact information for you to be able to jot that down. I'm also recording this webinar, and so afterwards I'll send you all a copy so that you have a recording for this for, uh, for posterity and to share with anyone in your office. Finally, I want to talk about some important stats, okay? We have a 91% success rate for patients with iontophoresis and who struggle with hyperhidrosis, okay? And so when we tell them that 9 out of 10 people we work with are able to see drier results after years of struggling with this, it really is eye-opening and it gives people confidence. 
But another thing that re really resonates with patients is supporting uh, is, is supporting U.S. manufacturing and knowing that a product that they're getting is 100% made here in Southern California and that they know exactly what they're getting and that they're getting a quality product. Two to three times that weekly treatment schedule for patients starting out. And again, two weeks is when most patients start to see results. We offer a two-year warranty on all of our eye antiphoresis devices. As I mentioned before, we've had patients that have had their devices for over 20 and 30 years. So that warranty is something uh, again gives people peace of mind, especially if they've gone through multiple solutions. And what could offer more peace of mind than a 60-day money-back guarantee? Especially when patients start to see results within two weeks, two months is plenty of time for them to see if eye antiphoresis is right for them. 30 plus years. That's how much experience we have in the hyperhidrosis and iantiphoresis business. So when it comes to the experts, look no further than R.A. Fisher, because why? Going with all the trends in health and nowadays, we are 100% all natural and an organic hyperhidrosis treatment. Okay. So when you talk to your patients about that, that's another thing that's really going to resonate them because they're really concerned about what they're putting into their bodies. And yes, Excessive sweating is, is a terrible condition to have to live with and to really struggle with, but what's the trade-off, right? What is finding that solution? What is it worth in terms of other side effects? Um, and so we really wanted to show them that there is hope and you're not having to sacrifice any other uh, of lifestyle or creature comforts, okay? We do offer 0% APR financing through our partner Affirm. So for people and for patients who don't, uh, or whose insurance denies uh, the claim for eye antiphoresis, we still have flexible options for them. So they can choose between three, six, and 12 month payment plans, whichever schedule works best for their budget. Uh, and we do offer for patients who qualify through Affirm that 0% APR financing. Okay. And we can, our treatment specialists can walk patients through that pre-qualifying process. And all of the information is also available on our website, www.rafisher.com. So let's talk about our company and then we'll, we'll get you out of here because I know you guys have busy days on your end too. Background well, history, we are a family owned company and we've been doing this for over 30 years uh, as a whole. Uh, Robert R.A. Fisher, who we're named after, actually pioneered iantiphoresis uh, as an effective treatment for hyperhidrosis back in the 50s. And today, we like to think that we proudly carry on his name through our commitment to quality, innovation, and your patient experience. So really, as a family-owned business, we treat every referral with that personal attention that they've come to expect from their local doctor or dermatologist and dealing with you. When you refer a patient to us, you are not referring them to a hyper mega healthcare conglomerate that outsources their support and who doesn't know their patients' names. We know all of our patients' names, we know all of their case history, and we love working with people and hearing those success stories. Because that's our mission, that's our vision. Why do we do what we do? We're really fanatics when it comes to quality. And when it comes to the quality of our product, we're helping change people's lives. We, that is not lost on us. And uh, although it would be very easy just to look at hyperhidrosis as a physical condition that maybe some people make jokes about, we're very serious when we hear success stories from people. And when we hear stories from people about how long they've had to live with this struggle and how grateful they are to have finally learned about iantiphoresis. Way too many people still have never heard of iantiphoresis before. And when they come to us and they see results, they say, man, I wish I had heard of this a long time ago. I could have saved myself so much hassle and headache, right? So our mission here at R.A. Fisher is to spread hyperhidrosis awareness, advocate the life-changing benefits of iantiphoresis, and provide support for a community of people who are desperate for a connection. So in conclusion, why iantiphoresis? Iantiphoresis is simply the safest, most effective way to treat excessive sweating from hyperhidrosis. There are zero chemicals, zero serious side effects, and it's also the most affordable long-term solution. Zero recurring co-pays and less than $1,000 for the total lifetime cost of ownership for something that will last you 20 plus years. And in terms of results, who can argue with nine out of 10 patients seeing success with iantiphoresis? 
as an FDA approved device. We have the clinical studies to back up our claims too. So if you have any patients who are interested in learning more, who are interested in seeing that proof in those clinical studies to back up what we're saying, we'd be more than happy to show them to you. And for most of the time, for the last several decades, in all of those clinical studies, the actual device used was an RA Fisher device. So keep that in mind too, when you're doing your research online. So how to get in touch with us. Here's our mailing address for anyone. If you have to mail anything to us, we're always open to that. As I said, we're located here in Simi Valley, California. You can email us anytime at info at rafisher.com. We'd be happy to address your questions offline. If you're sending a prescription or a packet, any information for a client via email, you can info at rafisher.com. Our phone number, 800-525-3467. Give us a call anytime between 8.30 and 4.30, Monday through Friday. However, you can call 24 hours a day. We do have an after hours call service who takes messages for our treatment specialist to be able to follow up as quickly as possible. So we are available to you anytime, day or night. Our fax number here, if, if you're needing to fax over a prescription or more information for one of your patients, fax number here is 818 818- 775-2941. That concludes our webinar and I want to thank everyone for joining us today. If you have any questions, we'd be more than happy to address them for you. Please shoot us an email, give us a call. I'll connect you and we'll connect you with one of our treatment specialists who can help guide you uh, on the way towards prescribing iontophoresis for more patients. We even offer a special complimentary box of educational materials for doctors, pediatricians, dermatologists, you name it. So if you're interested in re receiving some free educational materials for your clinic, please send us an email at the email address here, info at rafisher.com, and we'll ship that out to you free of charge. All right, thank you so much again for joining us. And the last thing I'll say is please visit our website at www.rafisher.com for more information in the meantime. Otherwise, we look forward to your emails, your questions, and your phone calls, and we look forward to helping your patients see drier results with IMT, drier results with IMT